Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steas, and as you can see, I'm up on my freighter. Yes, I've made a new swanky desk with 905. That's my hub coordinates. Yes, the 905 hub, you can hit on up the wiki. Just Google 905 hub, Captain Steve, wiki, and it should pop up. I've got my whole wiki page about my hub, if you're interested, people. Anyway, because I'm at my news desk, what news do I have? For you, in the view of us. Okay, well, let's hit this one up. Okay, well, if I bring in my visuals, not so long ago, around 20 days ago, I said, would there be an update within 20 days? Well, those 20 days have now passed, people, and sadly, no, there's been no update. However, inside of this video, I did say once the actual Gek Cowl is unlocked and also the geometric cape is at around 90%. And we haven't quite got there yet, chums, but I will show you the progress and how far away we are from that 90%. After I did that video, I did this video around why I think the next update is going to be the Mac OS update. And off the back of it being the Mac OS update, and previously we've had like the PlayStation VR update, and also the move over to Nintendo Switch, and both of those updates were fairly small, I made a follow-up video that says perhaps it might be a similar sort of size to the PlayStation VR update and also the Switch update, Fractal and Ray Waypoint. Now one of those are brought with it an expedition, Utopia came in with Fractal. I'm wondering whether we might get another expedition with the Apple Mac update. Let us know in the comments if you think that's feasible and possible. Anyway, let's close out, out of there and we're jumping over to Sean Murray watch. So Sean Murray, normally around the time of an update, starts to get a little bit busy on Twitter and throws out some interesting and tantalizing images well he's been doing exactly that people i mean look at that oh there's another one and that wasn't there a moment ago one hour ago i've been messing around building all of this for about an hour people so yeah i completely missed that one heck yes i did so yeah that's um that's news to me so i'm gonna i'm gonna retweet that one because that's, that's what i do people there we go retweeted the old murray so scrolling down a little bit further i don't know what that is there's murray's look at that base isn't that cool? That is fantastical. Looks like one of those gnarly new light bulbs that you can get with that retro type feel, doesn't it? Very cool. Love it. Awesome base. I've retweeted that one too. And then we've got this one here of a station flying into a space station in a centralized ship. Is that a hint that we might see the centralized stations? Because that's another thing that's been happening in the verse. There are some files inside of the game files on PC that have a new outer hull to the actual stations. Already done videos on that as well. In fact, I could probably put one in the top right hand corner above my head over there if um, you want to hit that one up it shows all the new stations that have been found inside the game files if you don't mind spoilers right and then heading down here look at that one that's freaking awesome isn't it now a lot of these have got a sort of orange feel to them and uh, Elite Gamers hit me up and said, do you think it might be a reference to the orange grass on the E3 trailer? I think that might be reaching a little, but you never know with Sean and his cryptic tweets. So sometimes I think Sean's been reaching in the past, and it hasn't. It's been exactly that. So who knows? It could be something like that. Araya V, I think the planet's called. But that's a beautiful one as well. Heck yes. Some great screenshots that Sean Murray's been tweeting out, and I love that base. That base is freaking fantastic, isn't it? I love it. That's really cool. And yeah, he also tweeted out this, some sort of new handholdy type looking console that perhaps you might be able to play No Man's Sky on. Who knows? But yeah, Switch is a handhold console, and that's struggling massively right now, people. Had a lot of people telling me it's still crashing like fudgery over on the old Switch, and I hope that gets fixed for you all soon. But yeah, so there we go. So Sean Murray's been far more active. So that's usually quite a sign that something might be happening. Another sign is the Quicksilver store items. Now, this is what I was saying about the geometric cape hitting 90 percent so i think once this hits about 90 percent or maybe 95 or even when it 100 percent completes i think we might see the depots start updating and i think we might start seeing sales happening which we're not seeing right now people and although sean murray has been a lot more active he hasn't put out an emoji which is kind of like the final sign i saw a sign yeah at the moment not many signs other than the quicksilver store that's come into completion because there are no other community mission rewards in side of the, the actual community events that we're running at weekends to try and unlock these things but if you click on this tracker something rather peculiar has been happening with the progress of this cape it was going pretty darn quick at one stage but then if i can smooth i don't know whether i can zoom this out a little bit further but if i could zoom that out a little bit further you would notice that it's um 
it slowed right down people i mean look at this flat line here and then again and then again and some of this was over a weekend as well we're just seeing a massive flatlining of this progress of this cape beforehand it was going quite quickly indeed but now they've slowed it right down and i think they've done that to coincide with an apple mac showcase that's happening on june the 5th yeah showing off the new chipset for apple mac now in some of the tree the sort of um teaser sort of screenshots that apple's been putting out they've got an apple mac open and it shows no man's sky on the apple mac if you watched that previous video that i put up earlier about the apple mac speculation in fact i'll put a link to that one right above my head up in the right hand corner over there i'll put it over there go and hit that one up because it shows all this apple mac stuff that i'm on about so you can put it into context hit that one up because i honestly think that they've slowed this progress down on this cape for a reason i think they want to capitalize on the showcase and the spotlight that apple's putting out there themselves for a bit of free advertising to sort of get people on to actually buying this product on apple software it makes hardware it makes total sense to me so anyway the depots over on steam is where we watch this is that b-e-j-r yy directory which is linked to apple mac if you put that into a rot 13 decryptor it actually comes out as orwell and then when you look at the apple mac trailer for 1985 when the apple mac first launched it's an orwellian trailer so we kind of think that that's an apple mac folder and also going in there and looking into the history of that folder it does say a mac os inside of there again it's all inside that video that i just linked momentarily ago so you can go hit that one up and see why i believe this is all to do with the apple mac and why i feel that maybe they might delay some sort of update until the first week of june and when i, when I say delay it's not like they've put out any sort of dates or anything but we normally see updates happen about six six to eight weeks after another update so since we've had interceptor it's been about the six to eight weeks boom we should be starting to see something but i think it's nudged over slightly into the first week of june mainly to coincide with this apple mac stuff so i'm looking now to see if there's any sales and you can see here it's still full price over on psn i've also checked over on nintendo switch and there's no sale on, on nintendo switch even though right now on nintendo switch if you did get this game as soon as you manage to get your own freighter or you try to engage with any of the new interceptor content the game will crash i mean we've, we've seen that happen on multiple switch People that do content creation, one of my buddies, Budget Reno, he's having massive problems on his Nintendo Switch and uh, he's been sending the videos over to the old Zendesk and I've done something similar and still there's not been any patches come out to Nintendo Switch. That I'm a little bit little bit upset about, but um, you know, we can only but hope that they put out some patches as and when they put out the update for um, Apple Mac. Hopefully they're going to polish it on Switch and other platforms because not only on Switch is there problems. I've had PlayStation 1 players sounding off and Xbox and even PlayStation 4 Pro players saying that they now have a, a, a system that as soon as they boot in, give it 30 seconds and it crashes. Even on PlayStation 5, I found a system out there in space that crashes regularly as well and um, if you want to go test it out i'll put a link up in that top corner you can go check that video out it's got the actual location but what i would say if you do want to test this is make a brand new save for testing it because you can get stuck there word of warning <laughs> yeah go test your fancy pcs see if you can get over to the missions agent inside of that station that i just linked Yes, yeah, so it's a bit of a challenge. But anyway, people, that's everything that I've got for you. So basically, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, is watch that Steam Depot and also keep an eye on the Quicksilver Merchant Store. And we'll see if this actual geometric cape starts to speed up a bit on this 1st of June, say. And I'm hoping that we see some sort of announcement over on the Apple sort of Metal 3 showcase that the apple update is about to drop and then hopefully we're going to see an update early part of june i'm thinking let's have a look at the calendar in the bottom corner here people because they do like to try and put out updates on like a, a thursday or, or or a wednesday so i'm saying maybe the 7th or 8th of june is when i think we might see an update come to no man's sky because they do like to have the friday and the weekend to put out any sort of um well work on any sort of patches and bug fixes that they then push out like early part of the following week monday tuesday so that's my thoughts and feelings i'm gonna put my money on the 6th and 7th of june people inside of the viewerverse that's where i am right now with my 
sort of thinking people so there we are that's everything that i've got for you now i'm going to be ending off and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this format i hope you like my little new studio my new news desk yeah and if i get rid of this laptopy screen in the background sometimes you can see like little npcs working on the oh, look there's one over in the background heck yes hello there viking chum <laughs> there's two vikings over there i think sometimes there's some little gecks that walk past as well but there we go people hope you enjoyed it take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again.